guys, welcome to my living room. Um, I have a really exciting video for you guys. I've been meaning to actually make this video for quite some time. Um, I just kind of never got around to doing it, but this is my baby essentials video. Um, these are all the things that I feel like really helped um, me as a first time mom, helped us get through, you know, the first few months of our baby's life um, and things that I would definitely recommend to other first time moms, things that if we do ever decide to have another one um, that I would get again. So let's just jump right into it and get into the video. So the first thing that I want to mention um, is this baby monitor. This is the Lollipop baby monitor and it is Wi-Fi powered and I know a lot of people have issues with Wi-Fi powered um, baby monitors with hackers and things like that but um, I truly 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 love this baby monitor. I'll show you guys some footage of what it looks like at, during nighttime, daytime, whatever. But um, I like it because it wraps around, it. you can do it different ways, but it can wrap around the crib. It even comes with a little mounting like branch kind of thing. So you can mount it like on the wall behind his crib, which I actually do want us to do because right now it's just on the side of his crib. So I can't get like a full view of him. But seriously, this, I, I don't think I would have been able to live without this or any kind of monitor but this one specifically here I'll open up the app for you guys so you unbox it and do all that good stuff and then you open the app um, and it's not going to show anything right now because it's not plugged in but I'll show you guys when it's plugged in so you've got all of these really cool features I'll turn this around for you all right you guys here is the camera how we have it set up on Henry's crib I put them in there just to <laughs> demonstrate for you guys, but um, this is what it looks like on your phone. You can also tap on it and make it bigger, but this is what it looks like during the day, but his room gets pretty dark. We like it dark in his room, so even when he's napping, um, you can see really well, so let's turn the light out. That's basically daytime or nighttime mode, so you can still see really well. But it is seriously amazing. And I'll show you guys the sound machine function just for kicks. So I have it on the, let's see, yeah, the white noise setting. And guys, that is the loudest, so, you know, it's not, it's not very loud, but there it is. I truly, truly, truly love this camera. When we transitioned him to his own room, um, when did we do that? Was that around like five months? Yeah. When we transitioned him, I was constantly checking this thing, um, so definitely recommend. I really don't think I would have been able to handle it without this. And it's really hard, you know, when you can't see what your baby's doing. So that's number one. I really did not want to spend the money for this. Um, it was, it's, or I think $60 and I just couldn't fathom paying $60 for a sound machine, but it is so worth it. This one also has an app, and I'll show you guys. So you open up the app, and once it's open, it's not connected to anything right now, but I'll show you guys in a second. Um, you can program it to specific settings that you like. They have all kinds of different noises. It's um, a nightlight. If you want it to use it as a nightlight, we like his room pitch black, um, and it's very 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 loud so with the lollipop one 
the sound machine is not that loud and I thought it was until we got this one and I was like oh my gosh this thing's this thing gets really loud um and I just I love it he loves it it really is worth the investment so definitely look into getting the hatch when I got it Target was having a like if you buy this item you get a ten dollar gift card so if you think about it I only spent like fifty dollars instead of sixty if you want to think about it that way but seriously it's worth the investment um or you can just put it on your all these things you can put on like your baby registry if you hadn't actually had your baby yet so i would definitely recommend okay number two or three actually this hand pump is a game changer so i got the uh spectra uh pump with my insurance check you with your insurance you should be everybody should be able to get a free pump with their insurance but i ended up getting a hand pump because we're i think we were going to florida and i didn't want to pack the um the big pump or maybe i got it beforehand i don't really remember but anyways we brought this on our trip to florida and seriously this was amazing when we were in the car i just pumped hendrix a bottle and i gave it to him in the car instead of having to pull over feed him all that craziness um i actually still use this every day now hendrix sleeps through the night so um i need to pump either before i go to bed or before he wakes up the next morning and so i use it every day and i store the milk in the freezer so that you know forever gone i leave him with my mom or something he has milk this is amazing i i don't think i could live without it um i love the spectra pump but it's just kind of too big i just want to be able to pull this out pump really quick call it a day the other one has too many parts i just don't i just can't be bothered with it so um yeah definitely invest and this is the Medela one, but definitely invest in a hand pump or put it on your registry. Um, I love it. Okay. Um, uh, what's next? What's next? Okay. This guys. So this is a Panda crate. It's from Kiwi Co. Um, the other side has like my address on it and stuff or my mom's address, but we actually don't subscribe to this. My mom um, bought this subscription for Hendrix. But this thing is amazing. Um, so you get a box, I think every other month. And basically it like aligns with where your baby is developmentally. So it has toys and all these little like informative cards and things like that. But this was his very first crate i think um but it just has little cards that go along with it this one is musical bonding moments all kinds of little things that you can do with your baby um, we just got his most recent panda crate and it's got all these fun toys for him to play with that align with where he is developmentally um also helps him reach um, like the next developmental goal. Um, it also comes with little cards of activities you can do with them at this age. So he's six months. Um, this first box, this one, came with some contrasting cards. And that was when he was like a month old. And at that stage, they see like high contrast things really well. So it was like a black card with white shapes or vice versa. He loved them. I put them on his car seat so he can look at like whenever we were in the car or anything. Um, but seriously, he loves this. He loves giving me these little crates. Um, so I don't, I'm not sure how much it is. I'll try to look into it for you guys and put it on the screen. Um, but my mom got it for us and I'm so thankful because it has been amazing. So thank you mom for getting this, but I would definitely recommend to other parents um, to look into it because love it um okay next thing 
are baby carriers. So I don't use these as often. I'll probably start using them more now that um, he's a little bit bigger and you know, we want to go on walks and things more, but so I'm going to show you guys two. Um, this one is a very popular brand. This is the Solly Baby. I love, 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 love Solly Baby. I love their material. Um, this one literally feels like a t-shirt. It's so comfortable to wear. Very easy to wrap up really quick. And I think Hendrix really likes it. This one was a gift. Um, this one is from Sakura. Yeah. This one is a little bit more structured, but I do like this one. Um, and I think Hendrix likes this one too. I think Hendrix just likes being carried. Um, but I do love this one. It's more structured than obviously the Solly Baby. It's just a piece of like really long fabric. But um, I, I think I just, I like both even like the same amount. I don't think I like one more than the other. I did not, however, like the uh, Wild Bird wraps. I thought that I would, but it just didn't really work out for us. I always felt like, I don't know, I was just, I couldn't move as much as I could with these. So, love those. Invest in a baby wrap carrier. Um, like I said, these are my favorites. Hendrix loves them. I love them. They're really comfortable to wear, so look into those. Um, what should I do next? What should I do next? Okay, so Hendrix is crying. Um, but Bailey's in there with him. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is from Yeah Baby Goods. If you guys have never heard of them or seen them on Instagram, look them up. I'll put their information on the screen. But my mom got us the IKEA high chair, um, and it's just like really basic high chair, nothing crazy or fancy, but Yeah Baby Goods makes accessories for this specific high chair. So they make these mats, silicone mats that you put on top of the high chair. It's like when your baby is eating, you just slip it on. And then if they make a mess, you just take it off, rinse it, call it a day. They also make these um, cushion covers. So if you bought this high chair, you can also from Ikea buy the insert, the high chair insert. But Yeah Baby Goods also sells one if you didn't want to buy it from Ikea or you forgot or something. But so they make these little cushion covers for the insert. So this is the one I have on now. So cute. I think I have three or four. This is another pattern that I got. Um, I think the other ones are in the washer, but... You basically just set it into the high chair and it make it your baby's comfy. Um, oh, they also sell these little, um, I'll show you. They also sell these little footrests because the Ikea high chair doesn't actually have a footrest. And, you know, you have these little rings to keep it secure, but then their little feet can rest on it and it makes them more comfortable so that their feet aren't hanging. They're not uncomfortable while they're eating or playing, whatever. So I really love that. Speaking of high chairs and things like that, um, Hendrix has just recently started to um, try solids and things like that. We're doing baby led weaning and he's definitely a thrower. I don't know if all babies are like that, but he likes to throw. So I've been putting this mat under his high chair so that when we're ready to clean up, it's quick and easy. I just pick up the mat, dust it in the trash can, call it a day. This specific one is from uh, the Grounded Company or Grounded Co. I think it's double sided. This side is faux leather. This side has a cute little pattern on it. I did just order one from um, the Gather ba uh, brand. I think that's what it called. Yeah. I just ordered like a smaller square one. This one is huge, but we actually just took this one on a picnic with us. Um, you can use it for basically anything. This is amazing. 
you took it on a picnic with us, much better than a blanket because all like if the ground is wet, it won't seek through the fabric or anything. Um, but for right now, its main use until we get the Gather brand one is to put under his high chair. But this can also be used as a play mat. You can lay it out in your living room or their bedroom and have them play on it so that they're not directly on the floor. I hate when Hendrix is right on top of our hardwood floors or our rugs or anything. I just, I don't like it. So we love using mats and things like that. He also has a play gym that my mom got him from Pottery Barn that has little toys like up at the top for him to look at and play with. So love that. So this is normally where Hendrix sits. <laughs> hey. Um, we are living room uh, eaters, so <laughs> he normally sits right here. This is the mat. Um, I have it on the leather side. I feel like it's better for wiping up stuff. But here is the footrest from Yeah Baby Goods. You see how his feet just rest right on it. He's comfortable. His legs aren't dangling. Um, this is the ivory, I think it's what it's called, um, silicone mat. And his back is nice and comfy. And the sides, nice and comfy with his cushion. So, we love it. Hendrix, do you love it? Do you love it, honey? Yeah. Um, this thing is also amazing. So, Hendrix was born in the summer, but obviously it gets cold. We live in Georgia. Um, and so I found this at Walmart actually, but I'm sure there are other places that have them. I did not find one at my Target, but this is called a cozy cover and it is fleece on the inside. So it keeps them super warm. Um, when it first started getting cold, we just had, you know, his blanket, but as he got older, he would pick it up and like put it over his face and that freaked me out. So I went out one day, I got this for him. This was just $15 at um, Walmart and it's amazing. I'll show you guys. Okay, so this is it. Um, Hendrix isn't in this, I'm just demonstrating, but it's got this little Velcro piece and usually his head is like right here. These can also zip down and he would be sitting in there, but this keeps him so warm. Sometimes I actually have to like unzip it or take it off completely because he really does get so warm with it. Don't even use a blanket for him anymore when he has that on because it keeps him nice and toasty and I'm not worried about him bringing a blanket to his face um, and him like suffocating or something, so. Um, love it. Definitely put it on your registry or buy it for yourself. It is amazing, especially if you're having a baby in the winter. Next, the Snuggle Me. Um, I, this product is either loved or hated. I understand if you don't like it, but for us, this was amazing. Um, Hendrix basically lived in this when he was first born. Um, it kept him, you know, nice and snug. And if I were doing something, I could just put him in here. He would lounge, he would suck on his pacifier. It was great. Um, he's a little bit too big for it now. He's a little chunky baby. Um, but I would definitely, definitely, definitely use this again if we did have another one. Um, it, it just, it was amazing. I would put him like on his tummy so I would lay it down and I would put him on his tummy and over the edge when he was like really small and it would kind of help him with tummy time. Like his arms would be like this and it would kind of help him to get a feel for tummy time without being like completely on his face. Um, so I really do love it. This is the color that we got. It's like a burnt orange, but um, this is actually gifted to us, but it also came with a cover for you to put on it and stuff. So I love it. I know it catches a lot of slack from different parents, but if you are interested in something like that, I would definitely recommend it. 
pacifiers. These are the Bibs pacifiers. I've tried to give Hendrix other kinds. He definitely prefers these. They look like this. I'm sure you guys have seen these. Um, but like I said, I've tried to give Hendrix other brands. He does not like them. I tried to give him these. These are the Itsy Ritzy pacifiers. He likes it like gum on these, um, but he does not like to suck on them like an actual pacifier. I mean, we've got like 12 of these and we need to keep them on hand because he loves them. He won't use any other brand. He hates all the other ones and they're just cute. So like we've got four like right in front of me. I'll, I'll show you. I got him all neutral colors. I actually won these in a giveaway. Um, he has a bunch of other ones, but seriously, these are worth the investment and they're cute. Hendrix loves them. So definitely recommend. This is a new one. He just recently got this for Christmas. This is a teething tube. And again, he loves it. He has other teething toys. Um, but I, I don't feel like he likes them as much as these. He, these he can hold on to really well. And it actually teaches your baby how to like use a spoon and things like that because you know, they're putting it to their mouth. He loves it. This side is ridged. This side is smooth. He usually likes this side a little bit more. I think it's just easier for him to put his mouth around, but I love these. He got these as a Christmas present, but I, I would buy these myself if, if I were, I didn't get them as a gift. This next thing is actually a probiotic. Um, it's from the Mary Ruth's brand. It's a liquid probiotic for infants. Can you see? Yeah, there you go. I give this to Hendrix every single day. Um, Hendrix would go like all week without pooping. And, and I have heard that for breastfed babies, that's pretty normal. Um, but when he was around three weeks old, he was really constipated and I wish we would have had this. But this just helps him, helps keep him regular. And he poops every day now. Um, but the main reason that I actually got this was because he was developing eczema really bad on his back. And I actually looked into it. I didn't want to just give him like a topical drug and call it a day. I know that's typically what is done, but I was researching a little bit and eczema actually directly relates to gut issues. And so they recommended a infant probiotic to flush out all of the bad bacteria and now you can still see where his eczema was, like it's like little white patches, but it's not itchy, it's not rough, it's smooth, and so I love this stuff. And it's just like, you just do five drops a day, so like one, two, three, four, five, and I mean, I still have a ton. I've had it for about three months or something, but it'll take you a good little bit to run out of this. Also, when Hendrix was constipated, um, when he was around three weeks old, we actually went and got the Frida Baby Wendy. Guys, it looks like this. It's hollow, as you can see. You dip this in some coconut oil, and you, you stick it up there, up their butt. And when he was constipated, this would seriously make him poop, if not instantly, then within the next few minutes. And I mean, it was like, it was coming out. So I definitely recommend these. They suggest that you just throw these away after one use, but I mean, they're like silicone. And so I, we, we haven't done that. Uh, we washed them really well. You can bleach them if you want, um, but we, we're not throwing these away because I think this pack was $15. You do get like 10, yeah, 10, um, but seriously, this was a lifesaver when he was super constipated, so I would definitely 
definitely definitely recommend and i think it's pretty common for them around three weeks to get constipated i've seen a lot of moms talk about their baby being constipated around three weeks so it must just be something about their tummies you know figuring stuff out but definitely 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 recommend okay this next item if you've seen any of my videos before you've seen me talk about um it is the car camera baby monitor whatever it is um, it's from Amazon. This was also a gift from my aunt, so thank you for this, but seriously, it is a game changer. So, basically, you've got a little screen right here. Hendrix isn't in it right now, you know, so you can see me. Hey. <laughs> um, this is the monitor. You, I just have a little sticky thing that I put underneath it. This is the camera itself, so it shoots directly onto the car seat, and I can see everything that is going on. This is actually what helped us to realize that he was taking the blanket and putting it over his face. So this is seriously amazing, 100%, 100%, 100% worth the investment. I think I've covered all of my bases. Yeah, Hendrix is sitting over there. Um, but if I think of anything else, I'll put it on my Instagram for you guys to look at, but I will have all these things linked down in the description for you guys. Um, seriously, all this stuff we, I don't think could have lived without. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want me to do baby products that I don't recommend, leave a comment below and I will definitely do that for you guys. But I love you guys and I'll see you later.